Uh, We're entering the Belcher Mine, folks, at the Ponderosa Saloon. This is Lord Rick. Got a whole nice team with us. Located between two of the richest mining discoveries in the Comstock. On the north side of us, Con Virginia did $180 million, gold and silver. That's $180 million, 1860s dollars. That mine was known as the Big Bonanza, where the title for the famous TV series came from. If you watched it, you'd know little Joe Haas and Ben come down to Virginia City every day. They're on horseback from Lake Tahoe in five minutes. <laughs> they did $438. <laughs> Not all the mines out here were successful. Best in Belcher each lost a million dollars on this mine. Before we head in, taller people might want to grab a hard hat. I'm only 5'10", and I still smack this hard hat sometimes. Yeah, you're all right. Shorter you're people, if you get bored, just keep an eye on the taller people. If you have cameras, you are welcome. <laughs> Take all the pictures you like. <laughs> <laughs> no. I go on my I go on hundreds of miles. I know, but I'm I can duck. I I can duck. So you whacked yourself really good. Ooh. Entering the Belcher mine. Oh, this is awesome. Stable it becomes. Means you don't need busting cups and fuses anymore. You just have to drop it. <laughs> But don't worry, a special company was hired to dispose of the dynamite. Before we go on, I'll tell you about the wood. Those darker posts are the original shorting timbers, about 150 years old. The lighter wood is reinforcement, makes sure everyone safe. But the original Ponderosa pine, which all the mines out here were shored with, is probably still strong enough. Old mine up fine, all by itself. Thank you. <laughs> this is the main tunnel you're walking in. Off of a main tunnel, there were two types of bores. The vertical bores were called rises. It's where they raise and lower man and equipment and ore. The horizontal and incline bores were called winzes. It comes from the German word for winch. This is an inclined winds. It went down at an angle about 100 feet. Miners always worked in pairs. One man would be lowered down the winds with a pick and a shovel. He'd break rock off the side, load this cast iron bucket. When the bucket was full, he had a cord attached to a bell. He'd ring the bell one time. Signal the man working in the tunnel, he could raise the bucket. When that man got it up here, he'd load an ore cart like the one behind me. When the ore cart was full, it was hooked onto a mule. The mules were called trammers because they pulled the cars along tracks on the floor of the mine. He used mules because they're shorter than horses. Believe it or not, they're all a lot smarter than horses. You only have to show a meal how to do something one time. They remember how to do it and repeat it every time you ask them, as long as they live. That's why they use them in the Grand Canyon, because they're not stupid enough to get too close to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Today, but you can see they didn't work in a mine long before they became a lot stronger than most men. I'm gonna point out this display on your right hand side has some very colorful glowing rocks. Small and further described, I'm not gonna squeeze you all in there, but take a few seconds to check the rocks out. When we get to the end of the tunnel, I'm gonna explain what there are. Cameras, if you want a picture of the glowing rocks, you need to turn the flash off. That picture will not come out if you use a flash. Unless you like pictures of chicken wire. 
<laughs> wow. They have the the boards holding it back. That's cool. Going into the darkness of the Belcher mine. Look at these glowing minerals. Oh wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Dangerous things mine is dead. Makes people think they were paid a lot. For the Comstock mines, average pay for miners worth the world, 25 cents a day. In Europe, there were hundreds of miners. Miners there That's often me. fifth or sixth generation miners, considered the best in the world of what they did. Mining companies in the Comstock thought it would be a good idea. Get a whole bunch of expert European miners over here. Got together, decided to pay four dollars a day to work these mines. That was a ton of money back then. When the word got out, lots of miners in Europe were hopping on ships, making their way to the United States. Knew they could keep half the money they earned, live like kings, still send half home to their family. Last one out. After you come through the rise, you go ahead right on back to the entrance. It's the front. It goes up, but not much. This little Rick of the Paranormal Ghost Society. We're in the Belcher Mine. Just walking through one of the tunnels. We're about 50 feet under downtown. As you know, Mackie had some stakes. Oh, this is cool. In the Belcher Mine itself. The feet into the mountain beyond where we went. Oh, wow. Well, that that point is thirty-eight dollars. It wasn't for lack of trying. <laughs> why why did they keep going and going and going? Why didn't they just well, dig into the walls hungry. here? That, yeah. Yep. That, that your your guess would be as good as mine. They um they just kept thinking just a little bit further. There's 180 million that side, 60 million that side. They had to keep me thinking just a little further. So there's ahead. probably still a lot of silver in it, here. It's possible, but not very likely. Uh, hmm. I don't believe that. <laughs> well, there you go. That's I think there's a gold mine here. <laughs> well, it is today. What we need is a big strip mine machine. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Pretty cool. As you can see, folks, the mine leads right on out.